Now my left side headlights are very dull. You can see the right here and here. See how that is? So we're going to try to get that cleaned up. And by comparison, look at this right side. Very little. We have some stuff up in here. But as far as down here in, the, in, in where the uh, yellow passing uh, lamp would be, the headlight, much, much better. Almost, virtually almost no, no uh, damage at all as far as uh, degradation to the headlamp. Left side. Right side. So the first thing I did on uh, this left side headlight is clean the area off with some uh, rubbing alcohol. I did the lens assembly and around the painted area where I'm going to be masking off to get any dirt off. Next I used one inch masking tape to follow the contour of the paint and mask off where I don't want to get any of the product that I'm going to use here to rub out that lens. And I used one inch because it's easier to have it flow around areas here where it makes steep curves. And then where I had to here, you'll see where I just took little pieces to go around. So next, I followed it up with 2 inch masking tape and it made the job easy because once I used the 1 inch wide and followed the contours, you don't have to be so careful. Now this will flow right around the already masked portions that you had and you're laying on top of the outer edges of that. So the other thing you want to make sure is always use fresh masking tape. If it's old, and it's not and it's gonna stick uh, you don't want any of the uh, stickiness to come off onto your paint so I always make sure that I have good fresh masking tape and you can tell when you pull it off the roll uh, whether or not you're gonna have an issue with it I, I mean I can just tell so use a good quality masking tape and now I'll be able to use the product go on here if anything gets on here it's no big deal when I'm done I'll just pull all the masking tape off so the product I'm going to try is Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. And I love this stuff. I use it on so many things. And we're going to give this a try. See what it does. Now what I'm going to do guys is just take some Kleenex. Put a little of that on my... Put a little of the Mag and Aluminum Polish on it. And just spread it out over the areas So next I'll take a clean microfiber cloth Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some more on.
All right, so this is going to be my third application of the mothers on here. All right, this is going to be my fourth application right here. Okay, so this is application number five. Application number six. Application number seven. Application number eight. Application number nine. All right, guys, so after nine applications, this is basically done. I'm going to do it one more time, but the reason that I put it on, applied it just a little at a time like I did wax, I wanted to show how easy this was. So I would just put it on like you would wax, take my microfiber cloth, and just buff it out. And like I said, this is the uh, ninth application afterwards, and the really bad areas were in here. And uh, there's still some here, so I'm going to do it another time, maybe a couple more, so we'll see how long that'll take. Application number 10. Application number 11. Application number 12. Application number 13. Application number 14. All right, guys, after the 14th time, I'm going to call this good. Um, you can see some scratches, but that might just be from the years of use of cleaning this. But it is a thousand percent better. Now I'm going to take my isopropyl alcohol, use the same microfiber cloth that I had before wipe this down before I pull all my tape now I can still see a little bit here now when I wipe off when I when I um, use the alcohol there is a little bit just a little bit here but I don't know if that scratches or what but there's just a little bit but I'm gonna call that good Then I'll put a little bit of uh, polish on there, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so what I did is I took my alcohol, rubbed uh, the lens down, and then I took furniture polish and put it on top of the uh, lens, and this thing looks beautiful. looks brand new. Now, this is my 2014 Honda CRV that I bought in April of 2014, and this is the very first time that I've done anything to actually try to get the plastic lens uh, other than just normal cleaning that I always do this is the first time I ever tried to do anything to, to bring it back to original condition So now we're going to take the uh, masking tape off, and it should be a fairly simple job.
and there it is so that's why I said it's important to make sure that you use um, fresh masking tape otherwise if it isn't a lot of times it won't tear off good and it'll leave residue back onto your vehicle on the paint you don't want that so this turned out perfect it actually took longer because I'm doing this video and you've got to do clips and this and that but uh, very simple nothing more than just a little bit of uh, medium uh, uh, force with your hand just to uh, buff it out and I uh, should have probably done this a year or so ago but uh, in any event I'll keep up on this now as it starts to change very simple to do guys now you'll notice there's still some remnants down into the crevices here the, at the parting between the lens and your body body panels that I'll just let that dry when I wash my car because I washed it yesterday that's another thing you want to make sure your car is clean and then I just use the uh, alcohol just to make sure there was no other contamination on it but uh, before I put the masking tape on I'll just I won't worry about that right now when I wash my car I'll hit that that'll come right off